what's happening on YouTube. Guys, August is about halfway over. I figured I'd give you all an update, let you know uh, what's been happening around the shop. So, uh, about a week or so ago, I was talking to a friend of mine and, you know, came up in conversation that I'm always looking for small engines and, you know, lawn and garden tractor, stuff like that. You know how that goes. And he said, why don't you step over to my house? I got something uh, you might want to see. So, I went to his house. And y'all know me, naturally. I mean, I can't say no to a good deal, so... Came out with this uh, little Craftsman. It's got no engine. It's a parts tractor, really. Uh, not going to be good for a whole lot. Back tires are... They may hold air, but neither one of them have valve stems. I really don't know how that happens. But both valve stems are missing. No engine. Deck is there, but the mandrels are stuck. Um, mainly wanted the steering sector for my dad. He's got a tractor just like this that doesn't steer. So he had this sitting there. And uh, he had this little Briggs... Model 21 overhead valve, sitting there with a 21 cube. And he had this MTD 600 series, what a white branded machine. That's complete. It's got a 17 and a half horse Tecumseh overhead valve. And he had this Murray wide body. And uh, that's mostly complete. It's got a 17 and a half horse Briggs on it. Um, you can see he's been, been working on it just a little bit. You know how that goes. But uh, other than that, the mower's complete. Tires all hold there. Of course, he had this uh, MTD 800 series, no deck, and tires ain't in that great a shape, but it does have a 18-horse vanny on it, so that's a good thing. Big hydro gear, hydrostatic rear end. I mean, it's a, you know, whatever it is, it is what it is. Of course, you know, he had some, some other stuff, some parts and such, some tires. Matching set of rears there, matching set of fronts, an oddball front. A couple more oddballs that also don't have valve stems. I just don't understand that, but whatever. Beyond that, he had this other MTD 600 series, another white branded machine, another Tecumseh powered, 17 and a half horse, overhead valve again. He's been uh, been doing some stuff here, so you know how that goes. This one looks like it's short carb. The carb I've got sitting over in that parts machine is a Briggs carb, so somewhere there's a Tecumseh carb floating around. And you know, beyond that, he had this Cub Cadet, another MTD. Um, this one has no engine. The deck is not attached, but I have the deck. I'll grab that too. The deck is sitting right there, and it's in real good shape. The uh, the caster wheels are a little beat up, but other than that, it's in real good shape. This tractor here, actually, this one may stay here on the, you know at the compound. I may end up using this one as a mower because I was just a cool little tractor. It's hydrostatic, steers real real tight. Uh, you know, overall, it's a clean tractor. I believe they clean up good with a power washer and a little wax. It would look pretty much like brand new again. It's even got this uh, factory sleeve over the seat, so the seat's in real good shape. Can't beat that. And of course, he had this uh, another MTD 600 series. They were the flavor of the day. Uh, a little Bowlands branded. This one's got a Briggs on it, overhead valve, uh, 28 cubic inch. A little 12 and a half horse overhead valve. That's a 28. It is a 28, and it actually says 15 and a half, not 12 and a half. Uh, let me see where my mind is. Hey, look, there's a carburetor there. Wait a minute. What is this guy for? Hey, hey. there is my. Uh, no, that's a Briggs carb too. Well, what the crap? Well, we got a couple extra Briggs carbs. Interestingly enough, I'll put this over here with the spare parts. And I got some uh, miscellaneous, which actually they probably belong to some of these engines over here, like airbox parts. The blower housing to an engine that was not included. So uh, let's let's tally this up real quick. There's also a mower that is not here. There's a Cub Cadet, a newer MTD Cub Cadet like that one, but it's a bigger one. It's got a Kohler overhead valve. I think it's a 13 and a half horse command. Um, shaft drive hydrostatic, but it's rough. It's beat up pretty good. So all said and done, eight tractors or eight mowers. Um, it's like about seven engines total. A couple extra carburetors there, some extra tires, and I'm going to tell you right now, I really did not get hurt. It actually probably cost me just about as much to haul them as it did uh, to buy them, so I can't really complain about that at all. They were dirt cheap. Um, at the end of the day, guys, or at the end of the, the process here, a few of them I'm going to sell. A couple of them I'm probably just going to scrap out, part them out and scrap them out. Again, I think that guy there is going to, going to stay around the compound. I just kind of like that. I don't know why. May do a little work on that and uh, make that work. Maybe throw this Vanny V twin on there or something like that. But uh, that's it, guys. That's for the the new additions. And one last part of this deal. 
Guys, this uh, this is what made it a steal. I'm not even gonna lie. What you're looking at is a one of a kind. Bet you never seen one. Hell, I guarantee you never seen one like it. Performance exhaust stack. <laughs> this also came with the tractors. Check this monstrosity out. Woo! Big old chunk of pipe right there. Probably weighs 30 freaking pounds. Give an idea just how long that thing is. Check it out. So we're good to go now. I can. Uh, do something. I don't know what the hell I can do. So that's pretty much what I had for you guys. Just wanted to uh, share with you the newest additions, the newest acquisitions, if you will. Um, more projects. Always more projects. Had to share this because this was just too good not to share. I mean, holy freaking crap. I found what it's good for. It's a good leaning post. That said, guys, it's Sunday night and it's getting late, so I'm going to waddle on into the house and cook some supper and get ready for another eventful week. As always, guys, I do appreciate you watching the videos, checking out the channel, leaving the comments, <laughs> and all that good stuff. Do me a favor, please stay safe and stop back, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you. Yes! That is perfect! That is what I need right there. <laughs>